In our health alert tonight, can drinking too much caffeine while pregnant damage your baby's liver? According to a new study, the answer is yes, but how much is too much? Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with the answer. Give it to us, Doc. So, Glenna, this animal study was just published in the Journal of Endocrinology and centered around female rodents. Now, researchers found that high amounts of caffeine during pregnancy could damage not just the newborn's liver, but also affect their overall growth and development. So a big deal. It could also lead to lower birth weights and increase the risk of liver disease later on in life. So, Doc, how could caffeine do that, though? So the important question, the findings suggest that caffeine is comparable to comparable three or more cups of coffee a day could change certain hormone levels which can then impair the baby's liver growth and development because after the baby rats were born in this study researchers found that they had higher levels of corticosteroid a stress hormone and lower levels of ifg1 which is a liver hormone now the study only involved rodents so it does, does not mean the exact same thing will happen to humans but expected mothers who are you know pregnant now should definitely be cautious when it comes to caffeine so how much can they have? What's considered safe during pregnancy? So Glenda, you know, I know that answer really well because of, uh, as I told many of you, my wife is uh, pregnant. My wife Callie is pregnant. She's a huge coffee and tea lover, typically having a couple of cups of coffee a day and an iced tea in the afternoon. But now that she's carrying our, our third son, she's pretty much given up on caffeine and she's a little bit different. Uh, and I can tell you that it, it's, it's rough for her, but she's a rock star and she puts our kid, you know, first. But as, as far as the question, the American College of uh, uh, Obstetricians and Gynecology says that 200 milligrams or less is actually safe for uh, pregnancy. However, I want to point out that the researchers for this latest animal study, they're recommending that pregnant women avoid caffeine until these findings can be confirmed in humans. So an important study, I think, that we have to you know, uh, address to humans as well. All right. And more to come on this, I'm sure, Doc. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Yeah. And if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And don't forget to tune in this week to an all-new Dr. Nandy show. He's tackling the challenges blended families face when they're trying to integrate. That's Sunday, August 4th at 12 p.m.